Hey everyone, welcome to the Vivo Life YouTube channel. I hope you're doing really well today. My name's Sarah, I'm one of the Vivo ambassadors. I'm a vegan YouTuber, food blogger, recipe developer. I'm also really passionate about fitness and mental health, and I'm here as a guest to show you everything that I eat in a day. Two notes before we get started. We will have all the recipes featured in today's video written out in the description box down below in case you want to try any of them out. And secondly, the full day of eating that I'm about to show you was for a rest day. So I typically try to work out between five and six days a week. I alternate between lifting weights and running. And then on my rest days, I just try to get in right around 10,000 steps. And that's just to make sure I get in a little bit of movement every single day and take a couple walks because my work does have me sitting in front of a computer for a lot of it. So yeah, this is for a rest day, just bear that in mind and know that if I had planned more exercise, I'd probably be throwing in an extra snack or two in between meals just for a bit of extra energy. So yeah, those are my notes. I hope that you enjoy and let's get into it. Okay, so I start pretty much every day off with a cup of coffee or occasionally I'll drink matcha. Today I made some of the Vivo Life mushroom coffee in my French press. And I actually made a little bit extra so that I could refrigerate the leftovers and have it as iced coffee the next morning since it's been really sunny and warm where I live lately. So I poured myself a cup of the coffee and added a splash of oat milk and then I did a little bit of work before coming back to make breakfast. For breakfast, I made banana chocolate protein waffles. I started out by blending about a cup of rolled oats into oat flour. And into that, I added a super ripe banana, some unsweetened almond milk, baking powder, a pinch of salt, a splash of vanilla, and half a cup of the Vivo Life Perform Protein in the Madagascan vanilla flavor. Also added a little bit of oil. I blended all these ingredients until they were completely smooth. And into this, I whisked some all-purpose flour until everything was just barely combined. I also chopped up a little bit of bittersweet chocolate and folded that into my waffle batter. I scooped my batter into my preheated waffle iron and cooked them. And also note that you can totally make these as pancakes if you don't own a waffle iron. To serve, I sliced up another half banana on top and drizzled it with a little bit of maple syrup. Now, the waffles are already lightly sweetened from the protein powder and the banana, but I always have to have maple syrup on my pancakes and waffles. Since it was such a beautiful day, my boyfriend and I decided to grill for lunch. I made some veggie skewers with onion, pepper, and zucchini. I cut everything into large pieces. Threw them in a bowl and then added a few cloves of fresh crushed garlic. Then I drizzled on some olive oil. Also added salt, of course, and squeezed in the juice from one lime. And lots of fresh ground black pepper. I tossed all my veggies together until they were well coated and then I skewered them. We also had a packet of vegan beef substitute, so we shaped that into burger patties and salted and peppered those as well. We started the veggies first on the grill. I like to cook them until they're just slightly starting to char a little bit around the edges. We put our burgers on and we also melted some vegan cheddar slices on them and we served our burgers wrapped in lettuce.
For dinner, I made a big batch of chickenless noodle soup. This is one of my favorite healthy meals to make. And in place of chicken, I use soy curls. If you haven't tried these yet, you definitely should. They're really affordable, they have a great texture, and I personally prefer them to a lot of the vegan chicken substitutes on the market these days. And I started out by soaking a few cups of those curls in boiled water, and I made sure to generously salt the water and let those soak while I prepared my other ingredients. I chopped up about a cup each of celery, carrot, and onion as well as a few cloves of garlic. I also chopped up half a bunch of curly kale and I did remove the stems first. In a big Dutch oven, I heated up some olive oil and I sauteed my veggies in that for around eight to 10 minutes until they were tender. I then poured in some water and chucked in a few vegan chicken style bouillon cubes. I usually prefer chicken style bouillon to regular vegetable broth because I find it to be a little bit more savory, but you can feel free to use any of your favorite broths. I also measured out a few herbs. This is dried basil, parsley, oregano, marjoram, and thyme. You can add any of your favorites. You can also use fresh herbs if you happen to have those on hand. I added those to the soup along with two bay leaves. After stirring in my spices, I added in the chopped kale and my soy curls that I had soaked and then drained. I covered and let the soup simmer for around 20 minutes, and in the meantime, I boiled my pasta. I decided to use fusilli on this day, and for noodle soups, I always prefer to cook and store the noodles separately so that when I have leftovers, they don't get soggy sitting in the fridge overnight. Finally, for dessert, I ate a little bit of fruit. I sliced up a Honeycrisp apple and rinsed some fresh blackberries, and I shared those with my boyfriend while we caught up on one of our favorite shows. And that is everything that I ate on this particular day. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Again, all of the recipes will be written out down below. If you end up making any of them, we would love if you would upload a photo to social media, tag Vivo in it so we can see you, and thanks for joining me. Bye.